Hey guys, it's G and welcome back to another video. Now today we are jumping in to something that was actually filmed. I want to say, oh my god, when was this filmed? The end of, end of May? End of May, yeah. I actually got the opportunity to be featured on the new Look Fantastic Fearless docuseries. Now Look Fantastic is a company that I've worked with before. I actually shop on their website far too many times. So when they actually emailed to ask whether I wanted to be part of their new docu-series on YouTube, I was like, hell yes, of course. This series also featured so many other incredible creators as well. It's a series all about like spreading awareness. This was something that I was actually really excited to get involved in. And this series also features so many other inspirational creators as well. So if you guys want to check out the series and watch the other episodes, I'll leave everything linked below. But the day was incredible. The team was insane. I had so much fun filming with them. We've had a whole year working from home and not being able to do anything else but work from the inside of my bedrooms. So being able to go to the studio and film with the Look Fantastic team was so fun. It was that like little bit of normality, which I really enjoyed. We actually arrived there pretty early. We of course did all like the COVID tests. It was all following the government guidelines as well. So we had COVID tests. Everyone was wearing a mask as well, obviously except me because I was filming with them. When I went into the studio, I had a chat with one of the lovely members of the team there and kind of just had a chat about my life, my YouTube, my YouTube channel, my career, my documentary, going on this morning, my experience in the industry, diversity, you name it, we had a chat about it. So we basically went over everything that I was going to be saying in like the interview, but the whole filming of it and everything was so chill. It was a really nice like vibe because it didn't feel like it didn't feel like a spotlight kind of interview. It just felt like I was having a chat. Um, but it was just so cool and it was so nice to be able to be a part of this with so many incredible inspirational creators as well. I actually filmed a full behind the scenes. If you see the full video and my interview, you will have to go over to their YouTube channel, which of course I'll link below. But what I'll do is I will put in the clips that I filmed on the day and I will also add in the trailer so you guys can get like a little sneak peek of what this docuseries is all about. Terrifying. It looks a bit daunting, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah.
filming for Look For Mistake, which you guys will be able to see this until it goes out, which I'll be, of course, like, linking below. This is part of, like, a little docu-series where this is actually the Fantastic Failers campaign, and it's me and a group of other incredible influencers who also have, you know, very different stories, and we get to be on here and talk about our journeys, and it's really, like, get to see it. It's really fun, I love it. We're here since 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, yeah. Hello. Hello. It's well cute. It's very chill. I like being, you know, chilled and kind of relaxed. It's really nice. Yeah, everyone's lovely, aren't they? It's really nice. Yes. It's really nice to actually get a nice one to go. Are they going to go to I know this is like the first bit of normality, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Back in the studio. It's like the, yeah, because, yeah, I didn't, I've not done anything since COVID, which is mad, so yeah. The only thing bit of a shocker doing. getting up early, but yeah. you know all what, good. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's mad. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. We did it. Yeah, but I think I've got like one. to use a wheelchair and then as soon as I was in a wheelchair that's when I realised that my friends didn't want to be my friends anymore. I never got chosen to be on these events and on these influencer trips because of my wheelchair. I'm in a wheelchair, it's not a very clean look for a brand, is it? It's like me in a wheelchair and, and it sounds awful, but I get it. Like I, I get what they're probably looking at. They're probably thinking, oh, we don't want you to represent, like, you know, it, this beautiful event, they've got to make sure one is accessible, which is probably harder for a brand. They probably wouldn't even want to think about that. They probably will think, oh, whatever, it's, we'll just throw it there. They won't think about including everyone. And I think that's, important as well as including it on social media you've got to represent it on these events but yeah that was everything that went on in the day that was all the behind the scenes as you can tell the vibe was very chill it was so fun i absolutely loved it and i just enjoyed being able to leave the house for work like it felt like a normal day just because that is something that i really miss is working outside of my home and doing fun shoots and doing like the part of my job that I miss the most. It's been about a year where I've not been able to do any of that so going back into normality was just so fun and so amazing and I just want to say a massive massive thank you to Look Fantastic for having me be a part of this docu series and I had such a fun time filming with the whole team. I couldn't have asked to work with a better team so thank you again. I would really appreciate it if you guys could go and check out the series and even watch my episode. I will leave links down below. I do hope you enjoyed seeing the behind the scenes of you know my first proper back to work vlog behind the scenes of this incredible series that I really hope that I can film more things like this because I know you guys love seeing my work outside of my bedroom. There are so many opportunities that I do get with my job that I'm so grateful for so I will hopefully be doing more videos like this. If you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.